and that is R5D4. Which this will be a nice comparison, and then we'll have some more Black Series figures that we can compare it to. <coughs> Here's R5. Yeah, here we go. So he has a storage. Where you can... I think that there's like a slot where you can... Store stuff. Oh, you know what this is? This is this is um so that he can be placed in a ship. That's what that is. <clears throat> All right, so a lot of the same stuff that was going on with R2. Obviously, we have head swivel here. Got the legs. He does have a third leg as well. So we'll just get in there and pull that leg out. Articulation in the leg. Articulation in the rotors. can see like some bolts in here some extra detailing and all that <laughs> yeah it's a really cool well executed droid i always like the look of r5d4 him and his bad motivator <clears throat> uh his doors let's see There you go, we got that one open relatively quickly. I also think that it's a matter of using it a couple times and then like the the thing like wants to open more. But it's it's almost like a two-handed like thing that you do with it. I just accidentally closed that one. I'm also trying not to like mess the paint up when I do that. Like, it's like a lot to ask. There we go. <clears throat> this is the anniversary one. This is the 40th anniversary of. Where's my card? <clears throat> 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, R2-D2. We do have another one. <clears throat> Here's the mech. God damn, dude. So the one thing that we're learning from this review is that opening the doors on the Astromex is still a pain in the ass. Honestly, seems like more of a pain in the ass than it's ever been. There we go. All right, let's get some... <clears throat> Some stuff on him.
Oh, this one has like a little com link. Trying to get all of the accessories out without breaking anything. All right. So let's give him a little arm here. Ooh, that pegged in there. Little like fixer blaster thing, I guess. Oh, no, other way. Sorry, my bad. Mm, this one seems to peg in a little bit easier. Um, and then he should have the one thing that's a little bit weird is that he has like this little extra calm thing but he doesn't have like a grabby hand <clears throat> oh i guess you could consider this little hand here a grabby hand let's flip these put this one all the way down here put this one up here Okay, come on, get in. And then I think we can get this to peg in. No, we can't. Too big. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, either way, there's your R5-D4. I'm one, I really want to know. What is this piece? Has a hole there. It's like a drilling thing. There's nowhere for it to peg in. What's it supposed to go like in his eye? No. Maybe it's... No. Because the antenna doesn't come out. Alright, well that'll just have to remain a mystery for now. Avi, uh, you can figure that out. I mean, I guess you could just peg it in and it's just a little thing. Like a little arm? Yeah, I guess. I guess it's just supposed to be an extra arm that you peg in. Peg, 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 peg. All right, 